Hey, welcome back. It's Sam Bear, car guy in chief at Class Winners Collector Vehicles, and we're here in the Class Winners workshop to discuss not really about cars, but the fact that if you work on cars, inevitably, you're going to be working on other things because your tools, they're going to break on you, and you're going to have to fix those to fix your cars. And today, we're dealing with something that has been a big problem for people who own Lincoln welders. And it turns out I was trying to deal with the so-called hell hole in the 1972 Porsche 914. That's where rust drips down from the battery box and tattoos the panels that are underneath. Problem is, is we went to fix it and we had this issue where we turn on the welder, the gas solenoid's going, but we're getting no wire feed. And this is a huge problem with not just the 3200 HD, which is the same as the 140, uh, but with a lot of the similar type Lincoln welders. And I looked online and nobody had an answer. And people had talked to Lincoln, but it's actually really simple. There are two common issues and the easiest to fix, which is making sure that your selector switch is firmly on one of the A, B, C, or D to make sure it's not between. Well, that wasn't the problem with this one. But if it's not that, then people don't know where to go or what to do. And I figured it out. It's super simple. You don't have to take the feed uh, mechanism totally out. You just have to undo these four screws, pull this off, pull the roller out, and then you can loosen these main wires and actually pull it back a little bit and then you can get the wire feed motor and gear mechanism out and work on it. So that's what we're about to do. This is the wire feed motor and the wire feed gearbox. And all you have to do is this is a, there are four T20 torques. Take these screws out and underneath you're gonna five, find a bunch of little nylon gears and a bunch of caked on grease. The gearbox is bound up. So what I did is I took this cover off, took the gears out, cleaned them up, greased them up, put them back in, and used the leverage of the gears, and it went free. So I'm guessing when we put this back in, it's gonna work. Okay, hands clear because there's voltage going through it, but we have the motor hooked back up, just the two wires. Power's on. Hey, there we go. It's working again. Now that we've got the motor taken out, the gear section cleaned and relubed, and we've got it hooked back up again, making sure that we have the wires on the correct posts, because if we get them crossed, the motor will spin backwards and push the, the wire feed the wrong way. And then all these little screws and fasteners are back in, and it's not rocket science. It's just a little fiddly, and in fact, it can kind of be more frustrating than figuring out a wrong answer on a pre-calculus exam. It, it just, you gotta systematically figure out why things aren't aligning. But now that it's here, we haven't given it a shot, so let's see if it's finally fixed the Lincoln Electric wire feed issue. Power on. Hey, there it goes. All right, man, come on. Come on. Yay, it works. We're back in business. So now we can get back to the Porsche 914. And now you know how to fix this for free. I'm Sam Bear in the Class Winners Workshop reminding you life is too short to go buy new tools when you can just simply take a moment from your time fixing your car 
and keep your equipment working. Till the next time.